Alright everybody, today I am going to be showing you a sneak peek at the Snapshot 13W37B for Minecraft, also known as the Snapshot for 1.7. Alright, so I created this world just for items to show you guys, and they added a bunch of new organics in this Snapshot, or update I suppose. Uh, here is the regular dandelion, which is now renamed Dandelion from Flower. I know, everybody, you're probably happy about that. That always got on my nerves, I don't know about you. This is the poppy, which kind of reminds me of the rose. The blue orchid, which is nice and pretty and blue and shiny. The allium, which is sexy looking. The azure bluette, which is one of my favorites just because of the weird name. Red tulip, orange tulip, white tulip, and pink tulip. All tulips, if you didn't figure that out already. This is the oxide daisy, the sunflower, the peony, Psst, get it, peony, yeah, that was bad, the lilac, and the rosebush. So this rosebush, they took out roses from the game. I don't know why, and I don't know what's going to happen to regular roses now. But I have a sneaking suspicion they're all going to be replaced with rose bushes, which are pretty schnazzy looking. I mean, you got to admit, they're pretty. They added double tall grass, which is <laughs> double the height of regular grass. They added large ferns, which are really just a fern stacked on top of a fern, pretty much. And they retextured sugarcane. Now, I heard that there was something about sugarcane textures accidentally switching back when you were using a resource pack. I don't know about that, but that's just what Kehar told me. So, uh, they added two other blocks, packed ice and podzel. Podzel is found in a megataiga biome. Kehar likes to call it megataiga, which is pretty, pretty damn sexy. This is packed ice. I don't know what it does yet. I think it's some part of a biome, but it I couldn't get it to melt. I don't know if it does or not, but it wasn't for me, and uh, it really just seems to be like ice. I mean, you can slide around on it and whatnot, but it's a little bit lighter in texture and not quite as transparent, translucent, whatever. Now this, they added a bunch of fishing stuff with this. They added a new enchantment, Lure 3, which makes fish more likely to go to your rod. Uh, you can put that on here. Uh, they added a potion of water breathing. You can breathe underwater for three minutes, as this one says. Luck of the Sea, which I think increases the chance of getting these new fish, the clownfish, the salmon, and the pufferfish. You can cook the salmon. And uh, there's also a nice little animation for the fishing. Alright guys, so now I'm going to demonstrate the new fishing animations and stuff. So let's just cast this out. And wait. There you go. See all those particles? You have to have particles set. I don't know if it's all or minimal or decreased or what. I just know that you have to have... I have it on particles all right now. And uh, it wasn't working on particles minimal. So decreased should work, but I'm not entirely sure. So eventually there'll be a nice stream of them that runs in like that, like that, and then it goes down, and you pull it in, and you get a fish. So that's the new um, fishing particles. And then over here, I have the loot that you can get from fishing. So you can get this crap, glass bottle, bowl, lily pad, stick, ink sack, leather, tripwire hook, bone, and rotten flesh. Uh, you can get... Leather boots, books, saddles, name tags, fishing rods, and bows, and enchanted items like those. Uh, puffer fish, one of the fish, uh, is good for potion making actually. So if you were to make an awkward potion, then put a puffer fish in there. That's how you would get the potion of water breathing. And with this potion of water breathing, I can drink it. See, I don't have respiration helmet or anything. Water breathing. I can go underwater. And my water oxygen bubbles will not go down until this hits zero and then I start to drown. 
so the that's fishing and over here I actually finally found the use for packed ice you can put it's like a regular Minecraft block. Uh, you can put torches, just like a regular block, but you can put redstone over it, and it behaves like ice, and it will never melt. So, say you wanted to make a redstone circuit going across a slippery part for an adventure map, or you wanted to have torches on the walls and wanted to build an ice castle, then you want to use packed ice. Um, I'm not sure if there's a crafting recipe for it. I don't believe there is, and... Uh, I was told by Khard that it is in some biome. So uh, we'll just see about that, I guess. Pufferfish are not healthy. Let me tell you that. Look at this, look at this. Ow, 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 that is not, ow, 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 ow. You get a minute of poisoning. Um, 15 seconds, I think, of Hunger 3, and the same of Nausea. So, ow, 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 like I said, ow, not, ow, healthy, ow, 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 ow. There's a new drop animation, but again, you have to have particles set to at least decreased, I believe. Fishies in the fishbowl, fishies in the fishbowl, fishies in the fishbowl. Well, this is my fish ball. Fishy, 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 fishy. Huh? Psst. Hit the lever. Do it. Peer pressure. Hit the lever. Okay. What the fuck? No! No! Fishies! No! Why, fishies? Why? Alright guys, I created this world specifically for Amplified Terrain Generation, which is a new feature of the snapshot. And uh, yeah, so let's get crack a -lacking. Okay, so first of all, we have the savanna and the desert. This is the savanna. Uh, it's just like a plains. Uh, I think it's usually pretty flat, too. It's got jungle wood trees with uh, pretty flat canopies. Plenty of animals, wild grass, a couple of flowers here and there, not too many. Of course, with Amplified, this is nice and hilly and beautiful, kind of like an Extreme Hills version of everything. That's pretty much what Amplified does. Here we have a desert that has been Amplified. It's just a desert as you know it, but of course, the amplification makes it gigantic. And these are really cool bridges and caves and everything. Actually, right now, uh, if I just fly up here, these things reach really high. Um, some people wouldn't realize this, but this is pretty much sky level. And that, you don't find that in regular Minecraft before this snapshot. That was just unheard of to find some mountain that high. You get some pretty cool dark places where skeletons spawn in, and uh, yeah, that's... Uh, Pretty much the amplified savanna and the desert. Alright, so this is the leafed forest biome, which is pretty much a parkourist dream. I mean, like, boing, 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 boing. It'd be cool if you actually boinged, but you don't. So, you know, whatever. I actually had to turn this part down to normal render distance just because I was getting so much lag from the epicness around me and sand falling and everything. So, uh, yeah, this is the roofed forest and it looks pretty pro. It's got little giant mushrooms, too, which is a bonus. Who doesn't love shrooms? Just kidding, kids. Don't do shrooms. Shrooms are bad for you. This one is just deep ocean. It's an ocean. It's deep. It's filled with gravel at the bottom, and we're down at like level 32. Kind of lame. Okay, this is the Mesa biome. It's super awesome, it's super colorful, and it's beautiful, and it's made out of hard clay, and I love it, and it's wonderful, and it's tall, and it's hilly, because it's amplified, and it's beautiful, and I didn't mention, I love it, it's awesome, and it's just red, and blue, and pink, well there's no blue, but it's gray, and it's, oh, I just, it's just, uh, it's awesome, and it goes up, like, Really, 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 really high. 
but it takes a long time to load and it's laggy because it's so huge and there's so much stuff but it's like up here at level 180 and i just love it it's awesome and i'm going to mine out this entire thing and use it to build a house or a mansion or something somewhere in the world because it's awesome yeah okay mesa woohoo all right guys so this is the unamplified terrain new biomes generation so uh yeah let's get started all right, let's kick it off with the best, Mega Tega, Mega Tega, Tega comma Mega, Giant Tiger, if you will, Tega Mega, Mugula Tuka. All right, well, so this place got the puzzle. This place got <laughs> chickens, clearly. It's got little mossy cobble lumps, I want to call them. I'll call them trash piles for now. It's fairly flat. Um, it's made up of large two by two spruce trees, and uh, it's got some flowers. Oh, so flowers can grow on puzzle. Um, I did give myself some speed and jump boost too, so just if you're wondering that. All right, so uh, yeah, this is the Mega Tega, the Tiger Tuga, Muhammad Ali. I don't even know who that is. Well. Cool. Next one. Alright, this is the regular roofed forest. Um, basically, great for parkour. Uh, can run along the top. There's giant brown mushrooms. There's giant red mushrooms. It's got it all. It's got spruce trees that have a bunch of big, like, well, oak leaves on top of them. Not sure how that happened in nature. Crazy how nature make that, right? I mean, seriously. Uh, yeah, that's the roofed forest. There's not really much about it, um, except the beautiful canopy that's perfect for anybody that likes jumping. Die. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All right. So these are extreme hills now. They're kind of different. Um, if you didn't notice, there's not really grass there's some dirt with snow all over it not sure where the snow came from but it's rocky it's gravelly it's not as cool uh extreme hills was kind of replaced with the amplified feature in this new uh snapshot so it's kind of a sad little reminder of what it used to be but you know if you need flint this snapshot definitely definitely has all of the flint you could ever possibly need. Next! Alright, y'all, so this is the Sunflower Plains. Um, it's a plains. It's got sunflowers in it, and it's like, sunflower plants. It's super pro. Sunflower dudes, they always faced east. Like, uh, you know, oops, <laughs> up there you can see east. They always go east. So it's perfect for all of you little teenage boy, girl, adult boys, adult girls, everybody. Everybody, small children, toddlers, anybody loves to frolic through sunflower plains. Sadly, you can't eat sunflower seeds quite yet, nor do they have them in yet. But, uh, Jeb, Jeb, if you're watching this, put in sunflower seeds or I'll cut your throat out. Thank you. Next! Okay, guys, so this is the new swamp, which is, uh, I guess I'd call it more of a marshland. It's called a swampland, I guess. Um, it's shallow water, like always. Lily pads, there seem to be a few more here in the shallower water, but it's really kind of like a maze. Like you could try to find your way around this and... I don't know. It's pretty cool. It'd be really annoying, I think, to try to get across quickly if you, say, have speed 200 on. Which I do occasionally, but right now I don't. I only have speed 10. So I can run across water sometimes. Not quite. But, uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, earlier I mentioned the sugarcane retexture. 
as example there. And um, is there any double tall grass? There's a double fern. Uh, yeah, so this is the swamp land. Next. All right, so now we find ourselves in the bitch for I mean birch forest. Uh, this is populated nicely with, well, female dogs. They have a lot of bark. Oh, that was a that just came up with that. That was that was oh, that was a good pun. Guys, give me a thumbs up if you like that pun. That was a pun. I like puns. Okay. Next. All right, guys. Our last biome for now. Uh, is going to be the jungle biome and uh, there have been a few changes to this um, not too many but there are more jungle trees and there are now melons that spawn randomly around in the jungle so I thought that was pretty cool when I found that out because you know when you have melons you're happy and you used to have to go in and explore an entire abandoned mine shaft to maybe, just maybe, find a melon seed. But now, there's no need. You stroll into a jungle, you might grab some cocoa beans while you're there, then you can go home, make cookies and melon, living off the jungle, living like Larry. Alright. Well, this wraps up our uh, biomes, I guess. What happens when you click the super secret settings button? Hmm. <gasps> what was that? What was that? Ah. Ooh. <laughs> Just nope. 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 And the biomes, uh, and that is the Stone Beach biome, and uh, it has a flying feck included. Yes, yes, it does. Thank you for watching this, uh, well, snapshot review, I guess. Um, if you really enjoyed this, please do leave a like or sub. It really encourage us to make more vids. Um, without anybody watching, it's really kind of pointless. So, yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope you enjoyed the ending fireworks, which were pretty pro. Uh, yeah, so, I guess I'll see you guys later. Uh, Mothership, signing off.